Barry, we've been working together on exploring how we can bring accessibility to the Vodafone OneNet project. And it's been an incredible learning experience for me as a technical architect because often we try and build products that you know, fit for everyone. But often we totally forget about diversity. We forget about how people want to use the systems. What sort of challenges have you faced? Uh, for me, it's having products that are accessible to people who are blind. Because often we have to purchase a product, then purchase uh, an extra software package to enable the computer to talk. One billion people in the, the world are classified as having a disability. 100 million visually impaired people. Mm -hmm. So the, the one net console that we're working on can potentially benefit mm -hmm. those 100 million people. We really need to have a diverse workforce because what it brings is innovation. People with different ideas, yeah. people with different challenges, people with different viewpoints. If we don't consider disability, we don't consider gender, and if we don't consider all the other types of diverse people that will help to make products yeah. of the future, I think we're really going to you know, leave people behind. There's the, the human empathy side mm. of uh, designing products. If you be begin to think at the very concept stage of mm -hmm. product development, then you build in inclusivity straight away. And this is why we need more disabled people getting involved mm -hmm. with tech that can actually help architects of products to develop inclusion so it becomes the norm. In your opinion, what inventions ensure that nobody is left behind? The fact that we've got the internet and we've got mobile phones and we're able to consume information mm -hmm. how we want to and when we want yeah. to. So it's actually my mobile phone. Mine would be the that. mobile phone as well. <laughs> and as, especially those that have been designed with the assistive technology mm -hmm. integrated. That to me is the real benchmark for inclusion. Who are your role models in tech? I think because we live in the world of the internet and now artificial intelligence is so much of the moment, I would say it's the father of artificial intelligence, Alan Turing. We're standing in front of this amazing installation dedicated to the work that he did about 50, 60 years ago and it still lives on today. And I would go a little further in time and actually talk about Ada Lovelace, the first ever person to actually write the first ever computer code. And yet she's absolutely written out of history yeah. until recently. I think mine would be uh, Steve Jobs because of uh, the accessibility of all of uh, his company products. If we want to reach with our products a much wider audience, then we have to have people from those audiences working in our organisations. Absolutely. Creativity, innovation, people working together, accepting people for who they are and what they are. That's absolutely the heart of social inclusion. Technology for the good of society. Yeah. yeah.